This owl is sitting right on the rock ledge in front of that tree and it just flew right over my head in this arroyo probably waiting for dinner to walk by. It's incredible because this This is the spot that I'm going to do some night filming at. Just right in here. <laughs> I'm going to do some music video filming at night right here. I'll set my tent here and maybe I'll see that owl again. Wow. That was just too much. This is a man-made wall here to contain this water. This is the most water I've seen here. I'm going up this way. The creek bed is just over here. Now this is new also. There's a camera here to take images of the animals. It's the most uh, vegetation I've seen here also. I'm a little hesitant to go up through a, a thicker, rougher route. I might just stick to the open, but then I've got some thunderclouds brewing and I won't want to be on an exposed ridge I really don't believe in Bigfoot. Let's see the. It looks like a big footprint. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like five toes. Crazy. Just a coincidence, I think. So I'm. I'm on this trip overnight, one night, just to test out a new tent. I found a replacement tent for a four-season tent that I sold a long time ago and regretted selling it. And it's still not the right model, but we're going to try. I'm uh, taking the most direct route. It's tough, man. This is steep. And again, trying to beat the thunder and lightning. It's amazing just to see how close I live to these mountains. And down in here somewhere, and I do this big kind of horseshoe through here. Uh, there's some trees and some cover over that way. The peak is this way. I'm gonna go this way for a minute. Well, I finally 
got to some tree cover. I'd like to be over on that ridge over there. Should have gone up and over the top because that's just right there. Instead, I came through here. It was a little close with brush and it's sloped. There have been plenty of animals over here, so I just have to hop from one animal trail to the next. Here's a, here's a good line right here. This was not burned, so it's not all washed crazy away. Big, big bat rattlesnake. Monster right in there. Almost stepped on him. Dude, how can you be so bigger? I can see his, his tail. He's got three inches, four inches, five maybe in diameter. some reason I want to see it dude you can see this storm and it's just gonna connect here I'll probably just barely barely get that tent set up freaking big time and that snake that was serious Pretty good expedition tent. And we're gonna see if it's waterproof. I have a feeling it's not. It just feels like cloth. Room enough for two. Uh, you can completely close off the wind with the back window and the, the door. You got a screen also here. By the time this passes, it's going to get hot and sunny again. storm wasn't too strong, I, the lightning I think kind of lifted up over and the storms connected. Real mellow and quiet up here, I just had my dinner, 
my clothing was just soaked, soaked with sweat. I couldn't believe it when I got up here. And I tried to warm up and dry off under the sleeping bag, and it was kind of hard. And the last sunblast we had, I had the clothes out here drying off. And I've been walking around in my underwear to dry it off. Old school. Way old school. I don't know, man. This must be from the 80s. The days are nearly over. It went fast. And it's just a little creepy up here. I don't know why. I think it's the weather. We've had these clouds up here all afternoon. And it's been really still. Just now it seems the wind is picking up. But it's crazy, this place is usually just windy, blowing like hell up here. And it's cool, really cooled off. That one's next, Carrizo Peak. But I think I'll have to take all of my drinking water up there. It's with in a couple days. It's the last and best place for me to go. real strenuous climb to get up here. I've been reading and resting for four hours maybe, maybe more. I still have cramps in the tent. I'm hydrated. I pissed three times now up here. I brought four liters up and that's a comfortable amount Just missed some real nice color over here in these clouds. Just a few minutes late. The sun was reflecting off of the clouds. And that's when you need to get that picture. Before the sun actually comes up. Still, a great morning. The way to wake up. I just flew out of that tent. Here's a nice sunrise view of Carrizo Peak and the mountains close by. But if I do that, I'll have to take my entire supply of water from what I imagine there is no water over there. Beautiful place.
not really my favorite view, but it is an amazing view, no doubt. Probably years and years ago, this whole valley was full of gigantic ponderosa pine trees. I doubt you can find 15 down there now. Last time I was here, it was so windy, I could barely stand out in the open. Still freaked out on that rattlesnake. I think fate and destiny had a lot to do with our meeting. But now I'm going down and I'll have a little more speed in my favor. So now we're going down, we're going to lose the view. Pretty steep here. I'm just going that way through this saddle, and my arroyo's on the other side. This little patch here is like sickly sweet, pungent, rotting fruit sweet. It's like this smell, it's so weird. You can take that smell home sometimes. On your clothing or on your tent or something. Here's something that might stop you up. That's a cougar turd. All full of bones. I bet that, I bet that hurt. And the cats, they always display their turds. There's a hawk up there. He's been checking me on there. Maybe. Hello up there, friend. Yeah. Good morning. like those little tiny birds were on it. I think it's the owl right up there. This is the same corner here. And something just flew out of that hole. But I haven't seen... Oh, yeah. He's right up there. Look. He doesn't look as big now. There he goes. Oh, it's the same owl. 
big, big, big owl. <laughs> I bet he's pissed off at me.